Welcome back to Basement 1F, Terror City's only show that dives deep into the dark side without getting any on our hands. I'm your host, Mitch, and with me, as always, the ever-gallant ghoul gazer, Scary Sally. Hi, everyone. Tonight's tale is not for the faint of heart. We're talking chopped, sliced, and fucking diced. Right you are, Sally. And speaking of slices, tonight's horrific segment takes us to the east side of the Paranormal District, where Shadow is already on the scene. Thanks, Mitch. I'm here where the latest, grisliest chapter of Terror City has unfolded. It's a scene straight out of a horror's butcher shop. Body parts are missing, and it seems our perpetrator took takeout a bit too literally. Local law enforcement is stumped. No motives and no witnesses. Just a chilling message and left in what appears to be... Was that paprika? It says, you are what you eat. Back to you, Mitch. Thank you, Shadow. Spooky and spicy. Sally, any thoughts on our culinary criminal? It's either we've got a disgruntled chef or we've got a real-life Sweeney Todd on our hands. But without all the singing. Or with singing. Either way, really. All right. Despite my better judgment, here is Sally with her top five... something. Thanks for whatever that was. Tonight I'm sharing my top five handiest potions that every citizen of Terror City should have on their shelves. At number five, we have Invisibility Ink. Made from mostly vampire dust, it's perfect for those days where you just don't feel like dealing with your ex at the grocery store. Not today, Jamie, you fuck ass. Coming in at number four, Elixir of Eloquence. One sip of this and you could talk a zombie back to his grave. It's how I convinced Mitch to let me have this segment. I knew that tea tasted funny. Number three, Serenity Serum. This stuff makes you feel like everything is going to be okay. Made from Griffin Bile, it's a bit of a rarity. Tastes like fucking garbage to boot. Next, for our nocturnal friends, Night Vision Nectar. This one lets you see in the dark for two minutes. Perfect for a midnight pee. Finally, we have this little beauty, the Censorship Draft. One sip, and you can swear all you want, and you can't get in trouble. Now I can say cork and runt and all kinds of horse hockey. Are you hearing yourself right now? Oh, eat my shirt, you forking ice hole. More of a lateral move, really. There you have it, folks. My top five potions to make life in Terror City a bit more magical. Mitch, any you'd like to try? I've apparently had enough. Have it your way. That wraps up tonight's episode of Basement 1F. Remember, dwellers, keep an open eye if you're ordering dinner tonight. I'll just have a salad. Stay weird, Terror City, and keep those stomachs strong. See you next time. Bye!